Now, next, we're going to Crystal, who has an interview with William Ferguson. Now, he's the author of 419, and he's the winner of the Giller Prize. I'm standing here at the Don Dutton Theatre, where City Vibes has managed to get an exclusive interview with the Giller award-winning author Will Ferguson and his new book, 419. Come with me as I learn about what it is to be an author, what inspires him, and what he has to offer. Come and we'll learn about the best of the best Canadian author right now. Um, so when Vincent was here at the Word Fest, I took him out to supper. And I took him to, I asked him, do you like seafood, Vincent? He said, I love seafood. Have you ever had prairie oysters, Vincent? <laughs> no! What are prairie oysters? Oh, uh, you just, you, you have to, it's hard to describe. So I took him to, um, uh, what's the place, uh, Buzzards, you know, Buzzards Cook Shack, something behind Palliser. Uh, but what I didn't realize is they don't have prairie oysters all year. They just have what they call their te testicle festival uh, once a year. <laughs> That's true. The water was cool on, have a ball. And um, so I took Vincent there, and they didn't have any prairie oysters. So I was sorely disappointed. Uh, we had a steak. But I asked Vincent because, you know, he won four, I think it was four years ago. And I said, any Well, that was, well, first I was a lot younger. <laughs> that, was, that was 15 years ago. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not quite as angry as I was. <laughs> but it came out of living in Japan. I've been living overseas for five years. And I, kind of a reverse culture shock. Oh, I, just living abroad, it's such a different country compared to Canada. At every, at every stage, it's, Japan is a, a totally different experience. And I think when you live abroad, you kind of romanticize your own country. Mm -hmm. You start to think, oh, Canada land of mounties and moose and snow-capped mountains and everyone's very quiet and polite and then they come back and everyone's loud and arguing and okay. the Quebec is trying to separate and the economy is in the toilet and you just start to have a kind of reverse culture shock. Okay. Well I have a family to support <laughs> so that's to be honest I, I don't have the luxury of moods so uh, I you know I, I love what I do it's a craft I don't think of it as, I don't sit around waiting for inspiration to descend from the heavens. I, I don't have a day job. Uh, I've been a full-time writer for 14 years. So um, I look at it like a vocation, a craft, and I enjoy it. I enjoy the process. Uh, and I, like I said, I have a family to support. So I don't, I don't have the option of draping around the furniture yeah. waiting. Um, 419 is about a, a woman in Calgary whose father gets caught up in an internet con and loses everything. And she travels to Nigeria to confront the people that she feel, feels are responsible for her father's death. So, uh, but then the, the book flips it over and then you see the Nigerian side of the story, which is really the heart of the novel. The novel is really about the people on the other side of 419. Well, 419 is based on uh, real case studies and the real history of Nigeria, the real situation, but it's completely fictional, yeah, it's all... Yeah, more fiction, yeah, it's heavily <laughs> fictional. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use it as a history guide. Okay. Uh, certainly, I had people um, complaining to me already that how Calgary was portrayed. <laughs> it's a work of fiction, yeah. uh, but people didn't like how I portrayed Calgary because the woman lives in a, in a shopping mall, basically. She lives at the food court and she works online and lives online and uh, pays her bills online, so she's kind of this hermetically sealed character. So it's her version of the city that she lives in. Well, enjoy the process. You should, you should enjoy the process of writing. It should be fun. Mm -hmm. And it's standard advice, but it's true. Is you have to do it every day. It's like a working on a muscle. Yeah. You know, you have to, you can't work out. If, say you want to get in shape, uh, I know this from experience, <laughs> you can't go and have like an intense three hour workout every two months. It's yeah. not going to work. But if you do a 10 minute workout every day, I've been told you will get in shape. Um, I don't like categories. I don't like the, the it was, publishing and books are very strange because they, every book should be taken on its own merit. If, if you're writing a humor book, you should judge it, is it a funny book? If you're writing uh, literary fiction, is it good literary fiction? If you're writing history, is it engaging history? The other books and, and the track record and the brand name or whatever you want to call it is irrelevant. 
So I think every book has to be taken on its own merit. That's how you have to look at books. And I've faced that myself. People keep saying, 419, you're a humorist. Well, yeah, but this isn't a humorous book. So take it on its own um, merit, for, for good or bad. If you don't like the book on its own merit, that's fine too. But take it on its own. Now, William has had 14 books published, the first one being Why I Hate Canadians, he himself being a Canadian, and the last one, 419, so be sure to check him out.